Hello everyone. Today we are going to cover the first chapter as per the NCERT class 11 Python syllabus which is computer system. In this video, we will cover the fourth module of the chapter which is the data transfer between the memory and the CPU. Other modules will be discussed in the subsequent videos. Let us now begin our discussion. As we know, the data needs to be transferred between the CPU and primary memory as well as between the primary and secondary memory. Data are transferred between different components of a computer system using physical wires called bus. There are three types of buses which are data bus, address bus, and control bus. These three buses collectively make the system bus. Now let us understand about each of these buses in detail. Data bus. Data bus is used to transfer data between different components. Address bus. Address bus to transfer addresses between CPU and main memory. The address of the memory location that the CPU wants to read or write from is specified in the address bus. Control bus. Control bus to communicate control signals between different components of a computer. Let us now see how all these components function together. Here we see the diagram, which shows how the three buses interact with the CPU, memory, and the input-output devices. We can see that the three buses together form the system bus. As the CPU interacts directly with main memory, any data entered from input device, or the data to be accessed from hard disk, needs to be placed in the main memory for further processing. The data is then transferred between CPU and main memory using bus. The CPU places on the address bus the address of the main memory location from which it wants to read data or to write data. While executing the instructions, the CPU specifies the read or write control signal through the control bus. As the CPU may require to read data from main memory or write data to main memory, a data bus is bidirectional. But it is important to note that the control bus and address bus are unidirectional. To write data into memory, the CPU places the data on the data bus, which is then written to the specific address provided through the address bus. In case of read operation, the CPU specifies the address, and the data is placed on the data bus by a dedicated hardware, called memory controller. The memory controller manages the flow of data into and out of the computer's main memory. With this, we come to the end of the fourth module. More modules will be added in separate videos. Please let us know how we can improve the videos and what topics would be more helpful to you. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more NCERT computer science related content.